Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I just got a phone call a little while ago. Um, I thought it was a pretty disconcerting phone call. Um, in February, I was involved in a hit-and-run accident. A drunk driver that was high and on drugs and had drugs in her possession uh, ran into me on I-70 and rear-ended me and basically put the commercial truck I was driving into a full slide and I almost went into the, the other lanes, but luckily I brought the, the truck back, straightened it up, it destroyed my tow vehicle. Well, I uh, basically um, pulled over on the side of the road, made out a report, they caught up with the lady, and they took and uh, arrested the lady on numerous charges, one of which was a drunk driving charge, possession of uh, drug paraphernalia and drugs, and I think that they got her for uh on drugs too whatever charge that might be but i don't know and so it was numerous charges so i just got a phone call from the prosecuting attorney's office a receptionist and she uh kept me informed on what was going on with that case and so this is what they told me they said that uh the prosecuting attorney in that county was afraid to go to trial with this and didn't want to go to trial so he let her plead down and long story short she ended up with three months probation unsupervised plus she had to pay court cost so that in itself just about made me sick to hear because I know what I have gone through and if you've watched my other videos you've seen the stuff I've gone through since last February, and uh, I mean, that's what, five months ago, five, six months ago, all the stuff I've gone through just to get back on my feet, and I mean, I can't believe it. I can't believe a prosecutor in this day and age is afraid to prosecute someone. I mean, isn't that what his name is, is prosecuting attorney? So, that really makes me sick. Uh, but I have learned something from this. They was right in my truck driving school when they said, I thought it was crazy that they said this, was uh, if you can get away, get away. And what they was uh, talking about is a traffic wreck. If you can get away from a wreck and leave the scene of an accident and get away, do it. And that's what they told us. And I'm like, man, I don't think I'll ever do something like that. That's kind of crazy. But now, it's on the table. So if something like that ever happens to me, and it's my fault, and if I can get away, yeah. Because I might, what am I going to get? A slap on the wrist? Unsupervised probation? If I get caught? I mean, come on. So that just made me sick just thinking about that and hearing that. And I'm like, man, I can't believe society is just letting the law enforcement officers down. And, you know, the, the, the people. Because that highway patrol, when he arrested her, he wasn't thinking, ah, she'll just get a slap on the wrist and unsupervised probation for three months. No. That's, he charged her with a felony and numerous other misdemeanor charges for a reason. Because, I mean, and another thing, did the prosecutor think that he didn't have enough evidence? Because I had numerous pictures of my uh, tow vehicle, which was destroyed. And then the uh, insurance company found it to be a total loss. So, I mean, was the insurance company lying? Was my pictures lying? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Even the, the sheriff at the scene said, oh, yeah, this thing's destroyed. And the tow truck driver that picked it up from my house, he's like, yeah, this thing's totaled. The whole frame is bent and the transmission's busted out of the vehicle. And then all my tow equipment, I didn't get any money for that. And, man, it's just it just really makes me sick to hear something like that. I mean, if I go out and, and get shot, man, the, the person that shot me, he's just going to get a slap, slap on the wrist. It, I mean, I just can't believe it. Really, really bothers me. But anyway, you all get out there and make some damn money and 
If you can get away, get away. Have a good day.